Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Hippie Duck Greens. Today we're going to be looking for a few different things. Um, we're going to be looking for a type of mushroom you might have heard of before. It starts with an M. Um, I'm not going to actually tell you which one it is yet. Uh, you're going to have to guess. And then the other one is uh, dandelion. But it's not just any dandelion. This type of dandelion is out all year long. Um, and it's actually really good for uh, healing wounds, scratches, uh, surface cuts, um, you know, stuff like that. So we'll see, we'll see our luck here in a sec. Wow, and just, what are the chances of that? Right away, I found the dandelion. That's just incredible. Um, so this is the dandelion that's out all year round. Uh, it's it's similar to a normal dandelion except this one you're supposed to rub all over your body um, it, it, you're supposed to rub it viciously aggressively um, sometimes it's nice to yell out war cries that helps you heal faster uh, really just a wonderful wonderful medicine um, and it's natural Oh, now here's a treat. Um, this, this right here is a Merrill mushroom. Um, spelled the same way as the shoe. Uh, very, very yummy. You can actually only eat it in the spring. It's technically summer. I'll take my chances. Oh God, my, my head's getting all spinny. All these plants, why do they all look the damn same? Well, you know, now that we have the educational uh, part of this video already done within just a few minutes, it's, it's amazing how uh, quick I found all of those. I'm really amazing. I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just the best there ever was. Now we can try and just look around and have some fun, which is really the joys of, um, of being a wild crafter. Now this is a bunch of yarrow and it's really good for stuffing up your uh, butt in the winter. Um, it's mainly used as a carb substitute, but it also has angelic properties. Ooh, what a treat. These are um, blue duck roses. I think that's a mushroom. And that's just a beautiful Christian santhemum right there. This one right here, this is a rock. Wow, I'm not even kidding. I think we're actually looking at a tree right now. This is either a plant or a piece of trash. This is lemon balm before it uh, grows the actual fruit. All right, and here's some mugwort. Uh, this is a great antiseptic, so you... You know, you, if you take some of this, make an extract, you never uh, need a plumber again when your toilet goes on the fritz. Wow, I didn't even want to promise you that we would see one of these today, but it's just so um, exciting. Um, let, let me just show you this. This is, this right here is a very, very ripe dog. Um, she usually, uh, you know, they can get away from you. But if you can catch one uh, right around now in, in uh, early July, um, they do tend to pick pretty easily. You just, you just pick it and um, they come right up. Um, they're usually in season around mid July, but you know, I can pick it ripe and just let it sit around the house for a little while um, before it's time to, uh, you know, really, before it reaches its peak. Okay, folks, well, that's about it for today. Um, I'd love to keep showing you around, uh, finding new plants, but unfortunately, when I rub that dandelion all over my face and my body, um, you know, let's just say now I feel like I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm gonna die pretty soon. So I'm gonna take a shower, and that means I'm gonna have to sign off. So um, thanks so much, uh, and I hope you enjoyed another episode of uh, Hippie Duck Greens.